Hey everyone, welcome back. So at the end of the last video, we set up our assignment and now we're gonna go test it. So let's go click on a, a tab that's not in the flow builder and we're just gonna go to the homepage in our sales app. Then I'm gonna click leads and we're gonna make a new lead, enter the potential value field and then convert the lead and see if our field mapping and flow fire and work properly. So let's press new to create a new lead and I'll just call this lead Bob Apples. And we will um, call the company Appleseed Enterprises. And we can leave the lead status as open, not contacted. I'm also going to want to make sure to fill in the potential value field. And I'll just put in the same number that I did before, which is 5,000. And then I'll press save. And so you can see that the Bob Apples lead record was created. So I'm going to press details. And we see that the potential value field is present for $5,000. And so now we need to pretend that we're the sales team and convert the lead to an opportunity. So we'll press convert. And we'll just let the uh, opportunity be created as the default settings here, press convert. And what we would hope to see is that our flow would run and set the amount. And so right away, I can see in the highlights panel that $5,000 is in the amount field. And then by pressing the details, try to unhighlight this. Um, we see that the potential value here is 5,000 and that the flow worked as expected. So the flow ran when this opportunity was created and set the amount. So perfect, it worked. So congratulations, you just built uh, your first business use case flow. Um, in the course anyway, maybe you've probably built other flows before, but that's awesome. Like it, it's working and that's great. So as a flow builder, sometimes we'll need to uh, take extra steps in order to, to kind of make the solution even more elegant. And I would always encourage you to think uh, one or two steps beyond what was asked for and just make sure that you're really providing the best end user experience possible. Like try to imagine that the people who use your solution are just absolutely delighted. They're like, I love it. This is great. And um, I mean, maybe they won't get that excited. It's just Salesforce fields after all, but um, you know, really, really try to take those extra steps. And what that looks like here is that the sales team really just wanted the potential value from the lead to go to the amount for the opportunity. The data points are the same. And what we had to do in order to do that was to make a new custom field on the opportunity layout, but they don't actually need to see that field. In fact, if they did see that field, it might be confusing. You know, they'd say, oh, there's two, two amounts here. Like, should I use both of them? Should I use none of them? Um, and they might, you know, it might not be clear exactly what the best approach for them is. So we're going to take an extra step here. And we're just thinking about our end users. You know, obviously we're in our own trailhead environment, so who cares? But, um, you know, attention to detail is helpful. So if we cover that in the course, you're more likely to bring it to your career. And um, that'll definitely help you succeed. So I'm going to click the setup icon here and we'll click edit object. And our goal is just to remove the potential value field from the page layout. So now that we're in the object manager for the opportunity, I'll click the page layout. And I don't know which, I'm pretty sure it's the opportunity layout, but I'm just gonna double check by clicking page layout assignment here. And I just wanna see what layout is assigned to the system administrator. And we see that it is the opportunity layout. So I'll click that layout and I'll scroll down and find the potential value field, which is here. And then I'll just remove that and press save. And then if we refresh our opportunity, we see that the potential value field is gone and that's perfect because now when a lead is converted, the amount just goes, or the potential value just goes to the amount and the sales team doesn't have to worry about the potential value field. So great work. Um, that's it for this challenge. You know, this was really straightforward, short and sweet one. There are some UI changes that I wanna make and we'll do that in the next video. But after that, we will go on to our challenge summary.